Hi, I'm Dr. Keith Lonergan. Uh, I put this video together to talk to you about some of the common questions and concerns that you might have surrounding an upcoming surgery. Um, in particular, this one is going to be about what to think about and what to prepare for when you're about to undergo a knee arthroscopy or other knee type surgery done uh, via the arthroscope. Many of the questions that folks have and we go through in the office, uh, sometimes all the questions aren't answered. Uh, sometimes we don't talk about everything that you may have uh, concerns about uh, when we go through our preoperative uh, consent form and uh, discussion about what we may be doing uh, for surgery. In particular, uh, oftentimes folks ask, you know, how long am I going to be out from either work or from uh, from school or how long will I be on crutches, etc. So in general, this is a, a good video that you can reference uh, after your surgery to kind of refresh uh, any things that, uh, anything that you may want to um, have some more clarity on regarding some of the questions that surround surgery. In particular, uh, when we talk about knee arthroscopy, we do uh, several small little poke holes around the knee uh, to provide entrance into the knee and uh, conduct the surgery that needs to be performed. Some of the general terms uh, that we talk about uh, post-operatively are swelling uh, about the knee, range of motion, and then of course return of function as far as weight bearing and the muscle tone in particular about the uh, quadricep muscle, your thigh muscle. After surgery on a knee arthroscopy, uh, you will generally have uh, crutches for a period of time. That can be anywhere from a week to up to six weeks, depending upon how extensive your surgery is. When we talk about uh, beginning uh, weight bearing, it would be uh, based certainly on how extensive the cartilage surgery is in your knee, but in general terms, we try to get you weight bearing uh, rather soon um, in order to activate the quadriceps and get the muscle uh, toned back and support the leg as soon as possible. We oftentimes will have you seen by therapy the next day or soon after in order to start the process of rehabilitation which uh, the most important parts are trying to get the swelling out of the knee you will oftentimes have a, uh, some swelling in the knee from a surgical procedure that needs to be um, addressed. Therapy can help uh, with motion, number one. That helps to pump some of the fluid out of the knee. Number two, uh, and one of our mainstays, is some form of ice or cold therapy to the knee in order to try to get the swelling and inflammation down. As the swelling subsides, so does your uh, discomfort or pain. As your swelling subsides, you get better motion and you can activate your uh, quadricep muscle better. So postoperatively, we spend a lot of time talking about getting the motion of the knee as well as uh, protecting the weight bearing until the, your muscle is uh, fully firing and the swelling is subsided. When you come out of surgery, uh, you'll have a, uh, a bandage on the knee which will be wrapped with an, with an ace wrap. Sometimes we will put a uh, full post-op brace on the knee depending upon if you've had a reconstruction such as an ACL uh, or PCL reconstruction. When you get home, you don't have to uh, do anything with the dressing in the uh, initial post-operative period. That will be handled uh, either uh, in the office in subsequent days or at your uh, first post-op visit with a physical therapist. In regards to medications, we often provide uh, a narcotic or pain uh, relieving medication uh, that is on your prescription as you exit the hospital. The nursing staff will go through that with you. Those are um, used in the post-operative period only for uh, a short brief period of time for your pain control. Some folks uh, take a few pills, some require more for an additional um, few weeks. 
If you don't have any uh, problems with your uh, stomach lining, such as uh, gastritis or previous ulcer, we would recommend taking some of the non steroidal uh, medicines or the anti inflammatory medicines, such as Aleve or Advil or Motrin. They help with the discomfort as well as uh, take care of uh, some of the swelling that we talked about earlier. Unfortunately, sometimes folks uh, have some problems with uh, narcotic medicine in regards to um, becoming nauseated. If that is something that you know you're prone to, uh, please ad I would please address that with the surgeon uh, prior to your surgery. And if that occurs afterwards, we can certainly call in uh, medicine for that. After the knee uh, is rehabbing and you're starting to weight bear, people oftentimes will ask, well, when, when can I start to drive? Uh, driving is certainly going to be determined but based on how your motion is, how good your muscle is firing, and certainly if it's your right or left uh, lower extremity. In general terms, and certainly these are a subject uh, to depend upon what you've had done. Uh, folks can drive uh, anywhere from a week or two after surgery um, uh, up until uh, restricted up to about six to eight weeks depending upon if it's your right or left leg. When it comes uh, time to get back to school or to, to work, um, certainly that depends on uh, what your job is and how far you have to uh, walk to get uh, to certain places at, at school. If you're in college and you have a, a, a large uh, area to, to cover, we will uh, guide you through that process. But in general, most folks do not go back to uh, prolonged standing or walking uh, after knee arthroscopy for at least two weeks and sometimes up to four to six weeks. Many of these things uh, we'll discuss in the office. Hopefully this uh, video will help uh, try to guide you through some of the other questions you've, you may have had and we've answered and as a refresher for you in the post-operative period. Of course, uh, some of the things that we always want to know uh, immediately is uh, problems with fever, uh, problems with uh, unrelenting discomfort or pain, and those would be questions that would be handled uh, certainly uh, with phone calls to the office or to whomever's on call for the group. So I hope you liked this video and I hope it helps you uh, take care of your knee and get you a swift recovery after your knee arthroscopy.